Hello Fishing Sage again. Um, I just wanted to do uh, a really quick catch and cook video. Um, one of my friend, angler friends, donated some uh, of the fish. It was kind of like they basically did a really bad job for laying. So uh, there was a lot of meat on the fish left. So I took the bones, I took the meat, and I made a plate with it. So um, if you can look down, this is what it come on, amounts to. So I just wanted to explain to you what these pieces are. No, no, stay down, stay down what these pieces are. So in the middle here, you see <clears throat> these are um, body piece meat. So what I did was I'm, I cut it into smaller pieces of sashimi so that it's easy to eat with just a single bite. This portion here is the tail, part of the tail, which does taste different than the body meat. And th these over here are various uh, in-between meats between the body and the tail. Now this one is a little special right here. As you can see, the color is different. Why is it different, you may ask? It's because this is the cheek meat. This is the most rarest meat, part of the meat in the fish. So this can go um, really high in price. You may not even have had a chance to eat this yet, um, unless you're an angler, because this is so rare, it's better than the belly fat meat, it's better than any part of the meat uh, on the fish. This is the best part. So I'm just gonna eat each part of the fish, and I'm going to tell you what they taste like. Okay, here we go. This is the cheek meat. Save this for um, sushi, okay? Save these parts for sushi. Mm. Yeah, so the texture is a lot firmer because it, it's a cheek meat, it's very strong. It, it, it's, it's what the fish uses to breathe, you know, open its gills and everything. And it's so delicious. It, it basically melts in your mouth, but it is firm. Um, so, um, yeah, that's so good. Um, next is the body piece meat. Here we go. Mm. So a lot softer, uh, less flavor, um, but it still has that um, really sweet salmon taste. Uh, it's a little salty, uh, but sweet at the same time. If you've eaten salmon before, you know what I'm talking about. Um, so, yeah, that just tastes like regular salmon. This is the tail meat. So the sauce, if you're wondering, this is um, traditional soy sauce and wasabi combo. Mm. <clears throat> the texture is a bit fuller. Now again, um, firmer than the body meat. Now the tail meat also is, is muscle, uh, really strong muscle. Um, yeah, a little bit firmer, but the taste is much more similar to the body meat than um, the cheek meat. Now the next portion here I have for you is the head meat. Okay, so there are portions of the salmon in the head where it's actually quite meaty. So I salvaged um, all that meat out of the head and this is what it's gonna be. So let's have a taste on this as well. It shouldn't be as firm as the cheek meat, because it is on the head protecting the brain. Um, but let's see what it tastes like. Hmm. That's interesting. So it's actually um, less flavor than um, the body and the tail. So this has less flavor than the really strong, um, you know, salmon, um, sweet and, and, and a slightly salty taste. It has less flavoring of that. But it's very soft, um, obviously, because it's protecting the brain. Um, but it melts in your mouth, so it, it just it, it just it just it just spreads in your mouth and just completely goes. And you get that the really slight salmon flavor that spreads all throughout your mouth. So that's the head meat. All right, that covers um, uh, most of the parts, all the parts of the salmon that I separated into uh, pieces. Um, again. Um, Saltwater fish is most likely usually safe to eat uh, raw because all the bacteria in there um, that could be bad for our body um, needs 20% saline solution. Our body is only 5%. So all anything that bad that could be uh, potentially bad will completely die inside our body anyway. But it's recommended that you first freeze the fish to you know make sure that you kill all the bacteria and all the germs in there. And after it's been frozen, you thaw it out. 
Um, there are different methods to thaw it out. You can use the um, uh, microwave, you can use cold water, uh, submerging it in cold water or leaving it overnight uh, in your refrigerator. And so after you freeze it, thaw it, it is ready to eat raw as sashimi. So one more pan down. Mm. Okay, let's go again and catch that dinner.